hello everyone welcome to another t-shirt design video today i am going to show you guys something different from my regular videos today i am going to show you how to make a custom vector from a image like i was searching for a elk image and this one i found and i was trying to make it a vector image like the way we did kind of this is the image layer you have to select it go to image then adjustment then threshold so this is i am in photoshop and by this we can make a silhouette image but this is not keeping the details i want to keep up the design like if i make it black like this it is going to the details are going to invisible kind of that so i was trying to fix it and for that for this kind of effect you have to apply like for applying this kind of effect you have to take a PNG image like a transparent background image but as you can see this image is not complete transparent so this is acting like transparent but this is not complete transparent and for fixing that I am going to use my magic wand tool here to remove the background of the image so this is transparent like as you can see if we zoom in the pixels are not being bigger or smaller they will stay as they are so that is the transparency now there are some small details i am pressing shift to select them and then i am going to delete so this is how you can make a complete transparent image from a from any online images like this and then you have to go to something like this filter and then okay sorry for that select the layer go to filter then other and then high pass so this high pass is going to make it look like this you can adjust this slider so I don't want to make it kind of colorful I just want to have the line work like this the line details of the image here you can see so that is what I want I can make it a smaller or bigger kind of this maybe or this position is good so not very colorful not very line altered something like this is going to work for me so here you can see these lines are now being a little detailed so now if i go to this image adjustment and then threshold it is going to keep the details of my design like here i can increase the size of the increase the details of my image kind of this and it is going to it is looking a lot more detailed than before or the first try so something like this i want to keep it these details i want and then the details on the horn so this much is okay for me let's press okay now i am going to select ctrl a press ctrl a that means select all then press ctrl c to copy this and then i am going to bring that in my illustrator and paste it here ctrl v to paste it so now i am in illustrator so this is the detail line art image i got from photoshop so if i select this and then if i try to make it a silhouette like this it is going to lose the details like it is becoming something like this but i don't want that i want all the details here or as much as possible of the details so for that i am going to click here image stress and then i am going to click here high fidelity photo this is a black and white photo but still i am tracing it in high fidelity option that will make it make the details like it will remain the details as close as possible to the original kind of this that is fine let's expand it now here is two color design when we make it high fidelity photo it becomes a black and white like this now if i take my magic wand and select the black and delete it it is going to delete some of the details kind of this and i don't want it i want all the details to remain so that's why i'm selecting the vector here now click on the stream of my pathfinder and when it is streamed out i can now select my white with my magic wand and then delete so this is going to keep my details like this is the closest details as possible from an image like that so you can use it without concerning about any copyright problems and of course there is some area that is missing this part you can always fix them i am taking my pencil tool just to draw it like this but i have to make it black so that these areas i can recover like this part i don't want it to be a different part from the original image or something like this it doesn't have to be very perfect but let's keep it kind of that 
okay so by this method you can make it really detailed vector how much you want you can control that so that is fine i think for me let's select them and then unite so unite will make all the small parts that we draw later that will make it one single vector so this is my vector and uh, this one for this design i was searching like wild color palette so this one i found this is a really good example of wild colors you can find it you can search like this you will find the tons of different color sets you can take them because we are making a design for print on demand so don't worry about the color profile here we are making it in rgb so that is completely fine now for this one here i just don't want to make it a too much detailed vector graphics or anything else i just want to make a very basic t-shirt design and for that i'm going to type in my text here adventure begins i hope you will understand the process okay guys so i'm back with the recording again i was having some issue anyway that's not the main focus here so this is my text here let me just copy and paste it in illustrator so that i can use it now for this one i am going to use my divide text frame you will find this in my group if you don't have so this extreme wild this is going to be my main focus text and adventure begins this is my supportive text and for this two text i am going to use a font called narmada or that's too basic font let's use something else utf or ut let's say i am going to use this press on extreme wild okay so you will ask for the font name let's give it here so this is the font i am using here you can download this from google or anywhere you find it now this is going to be the text of my this design and for this one here i am not going to make it a too much detailed design as i told already i am going to make it a overlapping design so that much is fine i am just going to place my this tear in the background and then this text i will use in the foreground so let's say i am selecting them go to object transform and then shear so shear will allow us to make it like change the position or angle of the design i am making it minus 10 degree and that is making it rotate in this angle i can increase this or i can go in the opposite direction kind of this if a text is regular text you can make it italic by using this horizontal option kind of this so i hope that will help you guys anyway so i am going to make it kind of minus 10 degree or maybe minus 13 or 15 degree that is fine okay let's make it minus 10 degree so minus 10 degree is fine let's say i'm going to make it that much bigger so that it is covering kind of the dr vector here i am selecting it all kind of this is going to be the position of my design and for the adventure begins i'm going to take a ellipse here and a ellipse kind of this pressing shift x so to make it a stroke kind of no fill and then i am aligning it with the graphics center position that is fine so this adventure and begins i am going to use a font called ball bear rustic this is a distress looking font and i use this font for kind of adventure or wildlife design you have seen me using that font in many of my videos so i am going to take my take this ellipse here and then click on any anchor point then press v sorry control v so control v will make it control v will paste it here so this is going to be the position of my this adventure text i am going to change the position so type then go to type on path and then from this type on path options make it center and then click ok so it is going to change the baseline of my text to the center let's say i want to make it kind of this position that is fine let's i'm pressing ctrl c ctrl f that means copy and paste in front so i have now two text here one is the copy one and one is the original 
so in this copy one i am going to make the change the direction in the opposite side kind of this it can be hard sometimes to match the direction anyway and then i am going to type in here adventure begins so this is going to be the final design for my this one i am just going to place them make sure that it is completely in the center position that is fine i am just going to select my this deer and then i am going to pick my eyedropper to pick a color kind of this because this is not that will be just in the background then this extreme wild i am going to make it kind of this burnt orange color code that is fine and then this adventure begins this too i am going to make it this same color so this is going to be the final design for me here so here the design is not the main focus point this is how you can make a detailed silhouette image of from a vector so let's say i want to keep my dr on the top here the text is on the top so i am making it control x control b so that will paste it in the background of my that dr and then let's say make it smaller bring it smaller so that it is it's look like the dr is on the top and this is not the center position kind of this position is looking like a center position and that is that's it for today's video guys i hope this will help you guys understand this process and this will be this will make your work easy to make a vector like this and use in your design this is totally copyright free because this is the original image is not from a copyrighted site or this is a vector image made from an image from an raster image so that's it for today's video guys see you in the next video thank you very much